We'll need 33 chains for this work. I've already made them. Now make one treble into the fourth chain from hook. One, two, three, four. Make one treble. Make another treble into the next chain. Again, another treble into the next chain. And another into the next chain. And continue making these trebles into each chain until the end of the row. I've just made a full row with 31 trebles, including the first three chains, which count as one treble. We will now start the second row with three chains. One, two, three, turn and make one treble into the second treble of the previous row. Make a treble into the third treble of the previous row, another into the fourth treble and continue making trebles until the end. I repeat this until I have a total of 15 rows with 31 trebles each. I've already made the 15 rows and now I'll start on the sleeves. Here. For these I need 45 chains. Pick your thread and work. One, two, three and so on until you have all 45 chains. Now I've got the 45 chains and now I come down here where I've made my first row of trebles which is the foundation chain and here into the first chain I'll make one double crochet one double crochet and this is how it looks I do another double crochet into the second treble and another double crochet into the third treble. Again, another double crochet into the fourth treble. I keep making these double crochets until I reach the end of the row. I've already made all the double crochets until I reach the last treble made into the foundation row and have the three chains at the end of the first row. Then I go into the first chain and make one double crochet. Now I make 45 chains. One, two, two, three, four and so on until I have all the 45 chains. I already have the 45 chains and now here where I have the first treble on this side, which are the three chains on this side, and into the third chain, I make one double crochet. Make one double crochet into that chain. There, this is what it looks like. We have one sleeve on one side, and one sleeve on the other side the top and the bottom and now here at the top I'll make one double crochet into each treble I already have one double crochet which I made into the first treble make another double crochet into the second another into the third double crochet into the fourth double crochet into the fifth and so on until you reach the end I've already made all the double crochets and now up here where I have the 45 chains which is the sleeve and in the first chain make one slip stitch make three chains which is the first treble of this row and in the same chain make a second treble then two chains and another two trebles 
in the same chain of the 45 string of chains. This is what it should look like. Skip three chains and into the fourth chain make two trebles, two chains, one, two chains and another two trebles. And there, second treble. Now you have the two trebles, two chains and two trebles into the chain. Skip three chains into the fourth chain, work two trebles again, one, two, two chains and another two trebles into the same chain. Skip three chains of the string of chains and into the fourth chain Make two trebles, two chains, and another two trebles. Continue working like this until you reach the last of the chain of the string of chains. I've already worked on the last chain of the strings of 45 chains and now here where we have the double crochets skip the first double crochet and into the second make two trebles two chains and two trebles skip three double crochets and into the fourth, make two trebles, two chains, one, two chains, and two trebles. Skip three double crochets, and into the fourth, make two trebles, two chains, and another two trebles. And I continue working like this until there's only one double crochet left. I've worked all this row with two trebles, two chains and two trebles. And here at the end, one last double crochet left over. Skip that. And into the first chain make two trebles, two chains and two trebles. Skip three chains and into the fourth two trebles. two chains, one, two, and another two trebles into that chain. Skip three chains now, one, two, three, and into the fourth make two trebles, two chains, and another two trebles. And continue working like this until the last chain. Well, I've made the sleeve and now I'm going up here where I have the double crochets. Skip the first double crochet and into the second make two trebles, two chains, one, two chains and two trebles. Skip three double crochets and into the fourth make two trebles, two chains and two trebles.
skip three double crochets and into the fourth make two trebles, two chains and two trebles. Continue working like this until there's only one double crochet left. I've worked all the row and now I have eight groups of two trebles, two chains and two trebles up here, 12 groups on this sleeve, eight groups down here and 12 groups on the other sleeve. Now here, where the initial three chains are, insert the hook into the third chain and make a slip stitch to close the row. And now insert the hook into the second treble and make a slip stitch because we're going to start another row. Then make another slip stitch into the two chain space. Make three chains and into the same two chain space make one treble, two chains and two trebles. This is what it looks like. Skip the next four trebles and into the two chain space make two trebles, two chains and two trebles. Skip four trebles into the two chain space, make two trebles, two chains and two trebles. And again, skip four trebles into the next two chain space, make two trebles, two chains and two trebles. This is how the work comes up. Continue working like this throughout the row. I've arrived at the end of the row. Now here, where I have the three chains, make one slip stitch into the third chain to close the row. And this is the row ready. Start the next row by making a slip stitch into the second treble. Into the two chain space, make another slip stitch. And then make three chains, which is the first treble of this row. And in the same two chain space, make one treble, two chains, and two trebles. I have now two trebles, two chains and two trebles. Skip the next four trebles and into the next two chain space make two trebles, two chains, one, two chains and another two trebles. There. Skip four trebles and into the two chain space make two trebles, two chains, one, two chains and two trebles. Repeat this until the end of the row. I've arrived at the end of the row and now where I have the three chains, insert the hook into the third chain and make a slip stitch to close the row. Start the next row by making another slip stitch into the second treble. And then another slip stitch into the two chain space. Then in the same space, make three chains, which is the first treble of this row, then two trebles, two 
two chains and another three trebles. In this row I'll have three trebles, two chains and three trebles. Skip four trebles and in the next two, span, two chain space make three trebles. two chains and three trebles. There. Skip four trebles and in the next two chain space make three trebles. Two chains and another three trebles. There we are. And again, skip four trebles. In the two chain space, make three trebles, two chains, and another three trebles. Repeat this until the end of the row and for the next four rows. There will be a total of five rows with three trebles, two chains and three trebles. I've already made my five rows and now I'll start the following row by making a slip stitch into the second treble. Make another slip stitch into the third treble and another slip stitch into the two chain space. Then into the same two chain space make three chains which is the first treble of this row. Three trebles one chain and then another four trebles into the same two chain space. This is what it looks like. Skip the six trebles and into the next two chain space make four trebles. one chain and four trebles. There, that's what it looks like. Skip six trebles and into the next two chain space make another four trebles. one chain and four trebles. Repeat these throughout the entire row. Now I've already closed the row with a slip stitch into the third of the three chains at the beginning of the row I could now cut the yarn and finish it off as I will be working on the sleeves. Now I attach the yarn here where the chains meet the trebles. I insert the yarn in the treble like this. And then I make three double crochets. One two, three. In the next treble of the next row make three double crochets. One, two, 
three. And in the next treble, make another three double crochet. One, two, and three. And again, into the next treble of the next row, make another three double crochets. One, two, three. And I repeat this until the top of the row. I've finished up here in the last row. Now I turn it round to where the chains are. Make one double crochet into the first chain. One double crochet into the second chain. One into the third chain. One into the fourth chain and so on until I've arrived at the last chain at the bottom. Now that I've made all the double crochets into the chain, I'll close the row with a slip stitch into the first double crochet. One slip stitch. I cut off the yarn and finish it off because this sleeve is ready. Do the same here on the other side of the other, which is the other sleeve, attaching the yarn and make the double crochets. Both sleeves are done and the bolero is ready.